This is Indianapolis coach Reggie Wayne, and you're listening to the For the Culture podcast. Hey guys, welcome back to the For the Culture 2022 Indianapolis Colts draft profile breakdown. In the fifth round, the Indianapolis Colts select Eric Johnson, defensive tackle, Missouri State. He's six foot four, 302 pounds. He moved around the line for Missouri State. He played the three tech, but he also played defensive end in their three man sets when they went to when they went to a, a three down lineman set he played the defensive end now I don't think that's going to matter much for the Colts I think he's going to strictly be inside I think he's going to add depth to our interior and definitely some competition there I think there's a spot to be taken so you know we lost Stallworth hopefully you know Eric Johnson can come in and compete and make the roster and show what he's made of because he's certainly got some traits He's got a solid base, will slide up to take on the double team, also prevents the guard from climbing to the second level. He's athletic, like all the other guys that we draft, very athletic with a strong base. Former high school wrestler, so very, very active. Gets his hands up in the passing game, knocks down passes, which is always a positive for your interior linemen when they can get their hands up and knock passes down. When he plays with leverage and is able to get under the offensive linemen that he's playing against, he's at his best. So there are traits that you find in this guy that lend credence to the fact that he could be, you know, a definitely an interior guy for us, rotational guy that could help certainly in spots this year. Um, he's got, you know, some solid tape, played very well for Missouri State, and I think he's going to certainly have an impact on the you know the interior of the Colts line there's definitely going to be some competition there for the back end of those players so I like this pick it adds to the the middle of our our defense as far as the the middle strength up the middle that's the way I always look at it in that 4-3 you want to have or really even in a 3-4 you want strength up the middle and that adding Eric Johnson certainly is going to add to that couple of things about him that I noticed obviously he played at a small school so there's always going to be that adjustment he's a bit of a project player going to take a little bit of time I'm sure to get adjusted to the speed of the NFL and you're going to see that with a lot of these young players that come from small schools I'll talk about our round six pick next and it's going to be the same thing with him a lot of ground between Missouri State and the NFL so you know it's all process and we'll see how fast he can adjust but there's certainly things to like about him. Some other things that you know need to work. Plays with his shoulders more than his hands. That needs to be worked on. Major, you know, there's no really major issues with this player, other than he just needs technique refinement. And I think you know, with our new D line coach and with the coaches that we have, as I stated in our previous profile, I think they're going to get the most out of this player, and he certainly is going to be you know, have a chance to make the roster at defensive tackle because he can play the three tech. And who knows, maybe he slides over. You you, you don't know. Um, But as far as I'm concerned, I think this is a solid pick. I think the Colts needed some help here in the middle. They got it. Definitely not a guy I expect to come in and play a ton, depending on how well he adjusts to the speed of the game and everything else and, and, and all those factors and variables that come with taking a smaller school player and just a player in general the transition to the NFL, I do think he will have, you know, a really good chance of making the team and being a rotational piece for this team going forward. So another small school pick for Chris Boward. We all know he loves those picks, and this guy's had some traits, put up some good film, and uh, I really think it's a solid pick for the Colts here as they go with Eric Johnson, defensive tackle out of Missouri State. So I'll be back with uh, our six-round picks. We've got two of them. Coming up next, so stay tuned here on For the Culture Podcast.